YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DB Kicks. We are back with another video, another sneaker banger for you guys today. And you guys already know, y'all see the box, so you already know what it is. You see the title of the video, all that good stuff. But before we get into that, if you guys are new here to the channel, please welcome, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. If you do so, please hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops some heat and some bangers. And we're gonna, I, I peeked at them, I did, but we're gonna really just dive into these and I just got to be honest with myself if I like the shoe or if I don't So you have a all blue Air Jordan box and it's like two-tone blue it's that fragment blue colorway is obviously just black yep white and black Air Jordan 3 retro SP retail on this pair is $200 I was able to finesse a little bit of a discount so I paid less than that and you do have black and white paper with your, oops, with your thunderbolts on it and here it is the air jordan 3 retro fragment collaboration now of course we will run through some of the details of the shoe and after that, I'll give you guys my opinion on it. So starting off on your lateral side, pretty much just the whole shoe is super basic. It's just a black and white Jordan 3. I called it like a flip on the, uh, on the Cyber Monday Jordan 3. I actually like the Cyber Mondays a lot. You have that fragment lightning bolt right on the heel on top of an all black smooth leather the white leather on this shoe the black leather on this shoe in my opinion uh, in my opinion excuse me is very nice it's a very plush leather honestly right here on the midsole you do have like the fragment text on it it's got letters on it like fa fragment i guess fragment whatever 20 and then it's got fragment design a bunch of numbers we're not going to read all that but i will show you guys a close-up look and right here on the medial side, usually where your elephant prints at, you have white stitching coming right through the middle. Working your way towards the toe box, again, a very plush white leather. And you have your all black smooth leather right here. So working up the tongue, they didn't change anything on the tongue. It's still a white standard Jordan 3 tongue. And when you get to the tongue, it does have the master Jordan 3 tongue. The shape in general so what they've been doing with the jordan threes this year as far as the shape and getting everything corrected that's what they did on the fragment so i do like that aspect of it the biggest thing with this shoe where what draw you know all the hype was this right here the fragment logo on the heel so it might be tough to see on camera but it's actually a jump man and under that it's fragment air and i'm not even gonna lie this logo on this shoe the logo is hard like all hype aside the logo the logo is tough it it just is it's i think it's a tough logo i can't even lie yeah back to the shoe all right so medial side medial side is the exact same thing as well so i don't even have anything to say about that this is one of the most simple shoes i've reviewed all year crazy all right so when you flip the tongue down it does say fragment right there no extra laces or anything like that. Taking a look at the insole, it is that fragment navy blue. It's got the jump man on it with the fragment logos. And this is like that polyurethane insole, so it's closer to like your original Jordan 3 insoles. It's not as thick. I don't have my threes handy right here, but just from looking at it, it's still very thin. But you guys can see it's not like the typical Jordan 3 insole that we always get. Just See how it kind of like just flaps around super easy like that. And these weren't glued down or anything. I just pulled these insoles out instantly. So again, the quality on these is fire, but I can't even lie, the quality on this shoe is very good. Now when you get to the outsole, you have your original Air Jordan 3 outsole in black and white, and you do have Nike right here. So I like how they did try to keep like its original roots with the shoe um but still doing like the fragment spin or whatever you want to call it now i did notice like on my left shoe the fragment print is crooked yo like it's going at an angle and then you look at this one it's straight that's just me 
being nitpicky, but I mean, I notice stuff like that. I see things like that. As far as the craftsmanship, so let's talk about the craftsmanship of the shoe. When I did get my pair in hand, I did notice that they have like a few, because the shoe is like so white, I already have like dirt marks on it. Before I, once I opened it, it immediately had dirt marks. So I had to kind of just wipe off marks of it. So with that being said, if you guys cop this shoe to rock, 1000% it's gonna get extremely, extremely dirty. So if you don't mind beating your sneakers, you don't mind wearing your sneakers, that's how I am. I'm gonna wear my stuff. If it turns yellow, whatever, I don't care. Something else I am noticing already with this heel. And you can almost see it like closer to the stitching. You guys won't be able to see it. This is gonna yellow bad. This is gonna yellow bad. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, it depends what you guys are into. It could give it like that vintage type look. I can't say the sneaker is ugly. I don't think it's ugly at all. I Again, I'm a big fan of the Cyber Monday 3 all black and uh, white outsole. I have the Cyber Monday Jordan 1, but this color blocking, I'm cool with it. I understand it's a fragment collaboration, stuff like that. But what gets me about this shoe, and this is one of the rare cases y'all are here you can say this. In my opinion, this shoe, it's like, the resale price that people are paying for this outweighs the way it looks, if that makes sense. So sometimes when you get a shoe like, you know, you might get a uh, Travis Scott one, right? Travis Scott one, the resale is, is insane, all right? When it came out and now, I paid resale for my pair, but I really, really liked that shoe and I was super eager to put it on foot. So to me, the looks of that shoe, the story and the resale, all makes sense even though the resale is high i'm not saying like the shoe oh yeah it's a thousand dollar shoe that's the best thing ever no but what i'm saying is it justifies it when i look at this fragment three and i'm not even going to say oh take fragment off and then it's no when i look at the fragment three just look at it from the side you can't see any type of uh logos or anything it's just it's like do you want to make six hundred dollars immediately or do you want to put these on foot to wear it maybe a few times. That's that's just my ass, that's how I look at it. It's not the color blocking, it's got like a Tinker Jordan 3 type color blocking. With that being said, I'm not gonna throw these on foot. And honestly, I, I, kinda, I, like, I kinda like how it looks. I like how it looks. Again, I, I feel like I'm talking in circles, but I do like the shoe. But I don't think it's, the, the resale outweighs, the come up outweighs the way the shoe looks. I can literally sell this and probably get enough money for something I missed early in this year, such as like an off-white five or something. Or you could just pocket five, 600 bucks in your pocket, yo. Like times like this, we can all use a little bit of extra bread. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 3 Fragment. Do y'all think that this shoe will grow on me? Uh, what y'all think, man? What y'all think? Just guess, you know what I'm saying? Y'all think this shoe will grow on me? Y'all think I'm gonna just be like, nah, I'm gonna sell it. Do you guys like the shoe? Did you guys cop this shoe to wear it? So let's let's talk, man. Let's talk about this shoe. Let's chop it up because I, I feel like it's just quite it's quite interesting, man. I feel like they, they could have went different a different route with this shoe. I think they should have added a splash of blue and that would have set it off. Thank you guys for watching, man. Greatly appreciate it. We're working around it every single day. Your boy DB Kicks, Fragment Jordan 3, Retail Cop, and we are out of here.